Hey y'all, how are you? So you might want to grab you a cuppa, your journal, your bullet journal, or just enjoy watching. We're going to be setting up my bullet journal for the summer, at least. Hopefully it will last at least for the summer. I have big plans for it for the summer. June 8th is World Oceans Day, our World Ocean Day. From June 8th until June 16th is World Sea Turtle Week, and the, every day is a different theme, a different type of sea turtle, and the reason that I chose to do the turtle theme and the ocean theme, doing the ocean theme for the summer. Save the Oceans I have on this. It has jaws made out of straws. <laughs> <laughs> so straws I have my little yep because well it was the closest thing I could find um and I wanted to make this a little bit fun because setting up a bullet journal should be fun and it is really fun and I picked the ocean theme bundle from notebook therapy you're gonna um, see the unboxing in just a few minutes you're gonna see me setting it up before I get into that part of it I wanted to talk about why I chose what I chose and what I'm gonna be doing I've talked about it a little bit before in the other video June is sea turtles July will be killer whales and then August will be sharks and I chose those because they are in danger. People are still killing sea turtles, even though it's been illegal since, I don't know, maybe the 70s or the 90s. It's been illegal for a long while, but there are still places where they're still killing sea turtles for jewelry and crafts and luggage and belts and all kinds of things. Their skin is like leather and their shells have been used for all kinds of things, bracelets and frames for glasses all kinds of things y'all and they're still doing that even though it's illegal around the world to do this turtles have been around for more than 150 million years they're one of the oldest living creatures that we have on our planet however only like one to two little hatchlings make it after they've hatched and they make it into the water once they've made it into the water only one to two of them make it to sexual maturity to go on to then lay eggs and have their eggs hatch. So most of the species are in danger. Um, there's one that's extremely, one or two that are extremely in danger. People are still killing killer whales, capturing killer whales, putting them into confinement. If you've watched any of Blackfish, any of the things about like SeaWorld and stuff like that, it's just atrocious. And people are still killing sharks for their fins, for like fin soup and all kinds of things. It's horrific. Our ocean is part of our ecosystem. And due to a number of things, our ocean is in danger. So as I get more into these videos over the summer, we're gonna be talking about some of those things. I'm gonna mention a few things every time I do a video. I'm probably going to do a big video for World Ocean Day. I'm probably going to do an actual video about the ocean and what we can do to help protect it. One of the things that we can do, plastic straws, plastic bags. Do you know that a plastic bag looks like a jellyfish in the ocean? Sea turtles, and there goes a motorcycle. Sea turtles, they, they think because it looks like a jellyfish that a plastic bag is a jellyfish and they eat it. Only they can't digest plastic bags. There are all kinds of things that are harming our oceans. I picked the ocean theme bundle from Notebook Therapy because of that. And I chose the black one with the playful orca on the front of it because I, I liked it. Now, I could have went with the turquoise, teal, greeny kind of color because I have a number of this these kind of things. This is my A6 five-year Hobonichi. This is my art journal, document my day journal, the Hobonichi cousin Avec. This is the Filofax folio cover. I have my little A6. And this is the cork cover from Brie from Documented Journey. And I have my A6 notebook from her, which has a combination of Tomoe River paper and mixed media paper where I document some things. This one is actually for my husband. Like the other day, this past week, Eric Carl, the writer and illustrator for the book and the books related to the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, but this color is very calming and serene the sea foam, aqua, turquoise, teals. Like I prefer, I prefer different shades. I don't want all the same shades. So as you can tell, I have all different shades. <laughs> I've just kind of gravitated more towards that for, for a good little while now. Let's talk about the bullet journal that I chose. It's 160 GSM 
paper. It has no bleeding or ghosting. It has five millimeter the dis distance between the light gray dot grid. It has 180 degree flat lay design. It, it does lay flat. It is handcrafted vegan leather cover. It's durable and sustainable. They have two bookmark ribbons. Mine has a black and a white. It's available in the original 135 millimeter by 195 millimeter, which is a tiny bit bigger than B6. It also comes in A5 and B5. I chose the B5 size. It comes in this great eco-friendly box packaging, which is wonderful, and I'm gonna be using mine for ephemera. I talk about that when I'm unboxing it. There is a back storage pocket. Mine comes with this free sun paper clip. I'm not sure which one the dolphin one comes with. It has elastic band closure, and it is 100 100% vegan and cruelty free. Now y'all know I like leather. I do. But I prefer sustainable brands like brands that are you that are friendly on animals in the environment. I'm not going to sell all my leather or donate all my leather but I am inching more and more and more towards more sustainable environmental friendly kind of things. Like I use reusable recyclable plastic and cloth bags whenever I go to the grocery store. I'm trying to get away from plastic as much as possible. I have reusable washable straws. It even comes with this little cleaner for the straws and they're environmental friendly. Before I get into the unboxing, I do want to actually mention that if you're interested, there are several different wonderful um, stories and fables and things about turtles. As a matter of fact, Stephen King has a whole thing in the Dark Tower series where they talk about turtles. I actually use at least one of the quotes from one of his books in my bullet journal. <laughs> Terry Pratchett talks about turtles. So anyway, let's let's just go ahead and get started with the bullet journal. Hey y'all! <laughs> It, it, it came in, it came in, it came in. <sighs> Look, I haven't went through anything, so we're going to take the stuff out of the box. And we're going to start with this, because I have been super excited about this. And I'm going to be picking the pins that I want to use for this. It has this vinyl thing at the top. And look at there. But it, yeah. I like that. That way it can sit on my desk and all the stuff that's stacked over here can kind of go over. Okay. We're going to look at the washi tape next. I'm saving the notebook for last. <laughs> this is the Tsuki Ocean Collection. Oh, and they sent a little thing. Oh, look at there. These are perfect. those. I like those a lot. We'll go over them more. I'll put some in the bullet journal. Okay, and now let's check out the actual notebook. Okay, so we got a notebook therapy card. Thank you. And I can use this when I do the Instagram thing. And I also got some free stickers from notebook therapy. Aren't those wonderful? And we have another box. So the ephemera for the summer for the ocean theme can go in this. I like that these come in a box. Oh, wow. So I learned my lesson on the last go round. Just move it over. I'm going to put these in here for now. It has the killer whale on it with the sun. Tatsuki Playful Orca Edition Bullet Journal by Notebook Therapy. It has the little wave. I'm so excited. I think this is a sun. Yes. Yes. I'm not real big on gold, but it matches. I think we're going to start with this. When I originally set up the bullet journal, what I was wanted to do was have one of those cheat sheets for the dot grid, which I did that. I saw that on a couple of different people's bullet journal videos. I set mine up a bit different. I didn't go into a whole lot of detail, but I did change ink colors. And I'm using one of my very favorite pens lately. It's the 
uni jet stream four in one it has four different colors of ink and then a pencil and a little eraser it's fabulous i did use the calculator on my phone to divide because unfortunately there are a couple of places where it's not even <laughs> so I put my name in there and then I was debating on a couple of things when I originally was thinking about how I was going to set up the bullet journal I had this specific thing in mind and this is what it says it came from the magazine Mag Magnolia chances are that what you're struggling with others are too what you want to talk about others do too what life questions you're asking they're asking themselves too open up yourself and others will follow what will ensue is a gathering no one will forget. And then I had cut out the word purpose and glued it on there. That was one of the things I talked about a bit in my imposter syndrome video. I thought it was important. Now this, it was a coloring page for, I want to say World Ocean Day or something like that. I don't remember exactly. I think it might have meant their media toolkit thing. You were supposed, you could print it out and color it yourself. Well, I put it on the screen. I drew it and then did it in my own um, color scheme sort of thing because on the right hand page there will be a little sticker that says an old sea full of fish be a shark and I think that's celebrating the differences like you don't have to be like everybody else you can be your own wonderful unique self so looking at my Hobonichi A6 I did do the future log and I did end up writing index instead of contents it's okay. I can either print out something and glue it in or just leave it. I prefer the word contents to be honest. I made quite a few mistakes in this. I did. I, I used my whiteout at the end of this. You're going to see a flip through of the bullet journal because I've already done quite a few things and added a bit to it since I set this up. Um, I think I set it up on Friday and then I finished up a few things yesterday on Saturday and it is now Saturday it is now Sunday I'll get my day straight in a minute but I did have quite a few things that I used the correction tape for y'all and I'm I left those in here the only parts I edited out was when there were long pauses when I was trying to figure out something or when there was a long pause where I was searching for something so I wanted to have this there are only about three or four lines at the bottom of each thing where I can write down things that aren't date specific I know I need to do I do use post-it notes and I will now when I did 2022 I knew that I may not have a whole lot and I do am still using the Hobonichi Cousin as my personal planner so I knew that I could go in and write some things out for 2022 throughout the year as I thought about them if I don't have any if I actually put my future plan plans in the Hobonichi Cousin. So on the next page, I was setting up my tracking for mood, energy, pain, sleep, focus, and anxiety. And it was important to me that I set this up. And I know that when I set up the next years, I'm not going to have this kind of room because we're only talking about pretty much seven months. So I have more room. Now, when I go to set this up for the next go round, I'll probably use a Dutch door so that I have all I can have all of them on sort of the way that I want them. I don't know if I may end up setting them up for six months, kind of like how the Hobonichi Cousin AVEC is set up, so that I have six months because I know that these bullet journals are only going to last me a few months. So I don't know that I want to have like a whole lot. We're going to see how long this one lasts and then I'll base what I'm going to be doing next year on it. I do really like the B5 size for what I'm using. I write a lot and I write big. And for certain things like sketching and little journaling and things like that, I like the smaller size I like a6 and b6 for regular stuff I love a5 but I'm finding that for the bullet journal this is probably the the perfect size for me I do however want to end up getting a cover for this later on I went back to the future log and corrected some of the mistakes I'd made <laughs> added in some of the numbers and things and you're going to see me like I add in color for each month I color coded for the tracker I did only use three colors per each one like I have happy meh and sad for mood for energy pain and anxiety I have a high medium low for sleep I have over eight hours eight hours and then under eight hours for focus I have focused some focus and then not focused and everything else is pretty much high medium and low for the reading log I did change things a bit 
And I have actually already added a book that I am currently reading. I'm reading The Day Book, The Journal of an Artist by Anne Truitt, and I um, have written it down. I did make some mistakes with this, <laughs> but that's okay. I have a few other books I need to add to the reading log, and we'll see how everything goes. Like I said, I did, I have, you're going to see me make several mistakes throughout this whole thing. The next thing that I set up was the coffee chat ideas and the video ideas. And the reason that I set those up is that in the comments, sometimes people will say, why don't you do a video about this? Or I'll ask people like on Patreon or YouTube memberships or YouTube, what would you like to see a video about? I thought it was a good idea to do this. I had it in a couple of different notebooks, but those are all over the place. And that was one of the problems I have with the Hobonichi Cousin is that there's not really room for collections, collections in there. I needed something more for collections. So when I started June, I had done this beautiful watercolor. Um, well, I think it's beautiful. I, I love turtles. So of a sea turtle and I added a quote by Carl Safina. The creatures of the sea hold special mystery. They are among the most exciting, graceful, and beautiful on earth. Just consider the living riot of a coral reef, the beauty of an albatross, the awesome power of a giant turtle, the grace of a dolphin. Now multiply that by the millions of creatures in the sea. Wow. And I love that quote. And I thought about doing a Dutch door, but I figured this way I, I, my, I ought to stick with what is familiar to me for the month of June. And maybe as we go through, I'll start doing like the Dutch door kind of thing. But I set up the calendar and I put one of my favorites of the little turtles. I did have to decrease it in size a little bit so I could get the calendar on there. I go back and keep adding like little bits, like some washi tapes and little gold stars and things to the mix. When it comes to the sea turtles swimming, I wanted to chronicle how the babies swim and what a long journey it is for some of the mothers to get to the shore in order to lay their eggs and then for the little baby turtles, the hatchlings, to swim. So I went through and found a picture on Pinterest of some little baby turtles hatching out of eggs. There were a couple of different photos and I used them as reference and then kind of did my own thing with the eggs. You see me go back in and add a little bit of stuff and I go back in later and sort of fix things up because you know, I was doing this and I, I did, I, like I said in the beginning of this, I made some mistakes, y'all, so I had to correct some things. Now, for this log, which is what this page is going to be, I ended up writing to-dos, and I did go in and add a few of, like, Coffee Monster Co.'s stickers that were appropriate. I added a few, a couple of stickers from the Antiquarian sticker book, like, in the calendar on the day of Sea Turtle world sea turtle day which is the 16th it's when it ends world sea turtle day is the 16th world ocean day is the 8th of june i put the little green sticker of the turtle from the antiquarian sticker book i love that i thought it was like so awesome that they had it and i'm gonna go through like the quote for june the calendar is i am the turtle son i made the universe but please don't blame me for it i had a belly ache that was stephen king and then on this log page i put the turtle moves and that's a quote from one of Terry Pratchett's books. And I do have things on here like the to-dos, like change the AC filter for the house, clean the AC filter for the barn, oil change for the Forerunner and the Camry to clean and organize the rest of the barn, to film uh, like a walkthrough of the barn once I get it clean and organized. I want to do that in June for Patreon and for YouTube. Patreon's version will be a little bit more in-depth. And I had a lot of fun creating these. I really did have a lot of fun creating this. It was very relaxing because I had already done a lot of the watercolors on the mixed media paper from Strathmore. So I wasn't trying to have this be this big thing whenever I set this up. I wanted to get back into it and ease back into it and not have so much pressure on myself. One of the other things that I did was for the habit tracker, I listed things that were important to me. Like I want to start getting up by 7 a.m. so that by the end of June, I, that's a habit. I eventually will be to the point where I am getting up at like 4.30, 5 o'clock because the way that things are around here, the quieter it is, 
outside, the more I can get done. And the cooler it is, especially with the summer coming, I'm hoping that I'll actually be able to, by the end of June, be up by like four or five o'clock in the morning. David leaves at five. I would like to be up with him around four o'clock because during that quiet time, I'd be able to get more filmed because it will be cooler and the air conditioner won't be cutting on when I'm in here. Won't have to worry about the noise like these motorcycles and the planes and stuff you're hearing. I think it would be a whole lot easier to film if I'm doing it super early in the morning rather than trying to do it super late at night. For the habit tracking page, on one side I have the habit tracking and I, ha I do have some household things keep up with what I'm doing so that I'm not overdoing it so that some of the responsibilities in the house are going to other people. Um, like my son, my mom does do a little bit. My husband does some on the weekends. So me and my son are trying to share more of the responsibilities during the week. On the opposite side of the habit tracker, I have a video log and I split it in half so that the bottom half could be little calendars and I have color coded film, edit and upload and I have Patreon, YouTube membership, YouTube, and blog. Up on the top, it says video log, but it will also be for the blog, and I wanted to make sure that I could list what I've done up top. I did put the moon cycles in. I have put holidays in, like Father's Day, Summer Solstice, World Ocean Day, World Sea Turtle Day. I have some appointments and things, and so I will make sure I have that in there. All of our personal finances and stuff, most of that is in the Hobonichi Cousin. I only put like a couple of things on this page, for the count on the calendar in this in the bullet journal the habit tracker and the video log and keeping up with some of the work stuff I have the quote try to be like the turtle at ease in your shell <laughs> so, I really liked that quote and then the last thing that I set up in here as far as this goes where you see me doing this is the week this upcoming week, which starts tomorrow. It's week 22. It's from the 31st of May to the 6th of June. And I did set that up and I left room on the right-hand side to track the weather because I think it's important that I do that because that way I can glance at the weather and look at the tracker and put like a little notice if it's storming or anything because whenever we have bad weather it affects my arthritis and that was one of the things I was thinking of. I should have maybe done a weather tracker and maybe I'll do that for July so that I could see all of the tracking together. <laughs> we'll see. And then on the right hand side I am actually going to be trying out the running task list. I'm going to give it a real go at trying things out and I have like I said I went in and added a few of the coffee monster codes like there's a little where it has a little emoji with the to-do list and then I have this cute little turtle with the air bubbles and I have a quote that says just like the turtle we only make progress if we stick our neck out and that quote was attributed to James Bryant Conant but then I found that same quote attributed to other people just slightly different so I'm not sure where the quote came from originally and then I've went ahead and started out the planning for Monday that's where I'm at with this I'm going to show you a flip through of this now before I close out because you're going to see me kind of flipping back and forth than adding little details like washi tape and the little gold stars and going back in and adding some more watercolor to the little hatchling turtles and different things like that. I wanted to go back because I did the basics and then I kept going in and I was looking at what I had. Normally I would have set this up pretty basic. I would not have went in and added the little gold stars or the little air bubbles or, or things like that. But I wanted to be creative in this because having the creativity and the color and that kind of stuff will help keep me inspired and motivated to use it. If it appeals to me visually, I'm much more likely to stick with it. I think that's why I've been missing this kind of bullet journaling so much as a creative person. And I enjoy doing these, but I got away from it for personal reasons. Because one, I felt like, like I said in the imposter syndrome video, I felt like I didn't really have anything to offer that other people weren't already doing, that they were doing it so much better than me. Two, I felt like I was getting lost in the shuffle and I was questioning whether I was doing it for me or doing it to film. Like, was a bullet journal actually helping me? And you know, I didn't realize exactly how much the bullet journal was helping me until I started doing 
all of my like planning, planning all of it in the Hobonichi cousin. And um, I love the Hobonichi cousin for planning, for personal planning, but it now the daily pages are becoming more of a reflection of the day and like little notes to myself and things like that. Whereas in the bullet journal, it will be quite different. I did highlight the edge of the page with the calendar because it will make it stand out a little. I should have maybe chosen a darker green. I don't know, but hopefully it will stand out, but it makes it a little bit easier to find. But I did find my little green, um, bright green page flag. So I'm probably just going to stick that on there. And I also have paper clips. So, okay. So I'm not sure that I covered everything, but the big thing that if you've made it this far, I just want to say that one of the reasons I'm doing this the way that I'm doing it is because if you're like me, your bullet journal is a working bullet journal. And could it be more aesthetically pleasing? Could I have better composition? Could I have done a better job with some of the things? I most definitely could have. Could I have went through with pencil and drawn every single thing out and had it be this wonderfully compositional spread with things exactly like perfect? Maybe. I don't know. I doubt very seriously if I'm ever going to get that far into having my bullet journal pages be that aesthetically pleasing. Am I happy with it? Overall, I'm very happy with it. Did I make a lot of mistakes and use quite a bit of correction tape? I sure did. Am I going to have mess ups? I sure am. There are going to be days that are really great. There are going to be not so great days. That happens. It's okay. Is my bullet journal sometimes going to be a hot mess? It sure is. And <laughs> that's okay too. Um, I just kind of wanted to show that it's okay. It's okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if you are trying to have a creative, artsy, aesthetically pleasing kind of bullet journal, but it's not perfect. It's okay. I hope that you've really enjoyed this. I have enjoyed creating this. I have really enjoyed the making of it. I do, like I said, eventually want to get a cover for it. I'm probably going to end up with something that's more sustainable, like cork. Yes, Brie. I don't know. I think I want to pick some kind of color for the summer. I want more of a beachy, wavy kind of color theme. I don't know. I don't want flowers. Some shade of blue or aqua or teal or something. The color of the ocean would be a beautiful color. This is the bullet journal finally set up for the most part and I really like what I've done with it. I still have the sticker to put here. I haven't filled out the index yet, but I will get to that. And here's my feature log, mistakes and all. Like I said, I have some more books I need to put down here. My coffee chat ideas and video ideas. My Hello June page. My June calendar with priorities over here. And I still have some things I need to fill out. Here's the June log and my main to-dos. I think I might move the jellyfish to right here. I think it would look better. Right there. Here's my habit tracker, my video log, work, first week of June, my running task list, and here's where I have some things because I've actually done this. I just have to edit it. It's my favorites. It's a coffee chat. I did film most of it, but like I said, I still have to edit it. I'll get to that. This is some information about sea turtles. There are some myths about sea turtles that I'm really interested in, so I'm going to get some more information about that. This was something that I wanted to make sure I included in the video. And then I don't have anything else, and then we get to the back where I have my cheat sheet, which I'm going to add a few more things to. And that's it, y'all, for the bullet journal. I have used the star 
and moon and then I have the sun right here and then back here so that I can flip to easily this so I know it's there I might turn this yeah I like it that way okay these ribbon bookmarks I think we're gonna use this one for here we'll use this one for the habit tracker and that's it y'all I hope that you've enjoyed this and I will see y'all again really soon thank you so much for being here make sure that you hit the like button that you subscribe share if you can y'all have a great one bye y'all